Hello, everyone, and welcome to our live Fitness Fridays. Please know that everyone will be muted for this session. We encourage you to join us on camera so we can all move together in community. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to share that in the chat. Grab some water and maybe a chair for support will begin momentarily. You can get your copy of the Parkinson's exercise recommendations at parkinson.org slash exercise. Make sure you select speaker view so you can see our facilitators today moving really big on your screen. And now it's my pleasure to introduce today's instructors. Christine Timberlake has been with Rock Steady since 2006. Her husband, Tom, was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2000. Exercise has always been a constant in both Tom's and Christine's lives. Christine has been Tom's care partner and understands all too well the needs of people struggling with Parkinson's. Having trained hundreds of people with Parkinson's as well as being immersed as a care partner has given Christine a uniquely intimate perspective on how to battle this disease. In addition to being a phenomenal athlete and boxer, Christine is an experienced lifeguard, swimming and aerobics instructor. She's a certified personal trainer through the American College of Sports Medicine and her personal experience as an instrumental part of Rock Studies Quarterman support. A third generation artist with a degree in fine arts and jewelry designer by trade, Christine has made many custom designed rock city boxing jewelry pieces, which are worn proudly by friends and family of the gym. So fun. And next to her, joining us today is Jessica Eckelbarger. Jessica was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in January of 2019 and joined RSB as a boxer a month later. She soon began volunteering in classes and then joined Rock Steady Boxing as an assistant coach in January of 2021. In October of 2021, Jessica received her personal training certification of ACE and is now a head coach and the assistant coaching manager at Rock Steady Boxing headquarters. Jessica loves to be able to coach her fellow boxers and give back to the Parkinson's community. When Jessica's not at Rock Steady Boxing, she enjoys spending time with her husband, three children, and of course, that beautiful golden retriever. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jessica and Christine, for joining us in movement today, guiding us through rock steady boxing. Without further ado, let's get moving. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much, Krista, for those intros. Welcome to everyone today, and thank you for allowing us into your space today to get moving. Uh, as a community, we're going to work out together today with a rock steady attitude, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But what we want to do first, if you're able, um, we're going to stand up, or we can do this the whole workout seated in a chair. Jessica will be showing you the seated variations as. As we out here, make sure that uh, the space is nice and clear and unobstructed around you. And we're going to start with a head to toe stretch. We're going to start with rock steady attitude, which is nice and tall. Tuck the chin. Give the camera a little bit of attitude. I see you guys there. Good job. And we're going to turn the hands out a little bit. So I want to see the palms of your hands. And we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together and stand up nice and straight, recruiting the back of the body. A lot of the things that we're going to do today involve the front of the body. So we're going to take equal care of the back of the body and all those posture muscles. So true to a boxer's regimen, we're going to start with the head to the head to toe stretches. We're going to look right to left. We're all going to take our time. Look over your shoulder. You really need this one, especially if you're still driving and you have to look both ways before you cross the street. Left to right, left to right. Nice job. Look over your shoulder. Don't forget the wide stance, wide confident stance. We're gonna go to another stretch that's boxing specific. We're gonna stretch the jaw. Looks kind of crazy but we're leave, relieving a lot of tension in the jaw right now. Nice job. Let's get the shoulders. We're gonna bring the shoulders up around the ears, push them back, drop them down. And let's roll that ball and socket joint around. Nice work. 
big giant smile on your face. Let's let's work on some facial expressions, big huge smiles. At Rock Study, we're a little bit wild and crazy, a little bit cheesy. So we're gonna make out some facial expressions right now. Big huge smile while we do the shoulders. Let's do a surprised face. You're gonna make me do what? Coach? <laughs> How about an angry face? You're gonna make me do what today, coach? <laughs> now shake out the hands. Stay nice and loose. And I'm gonna start, start shifting the weight on my feet. In a seated position or standing, let's get the wrists. Warm up those joints. Let's open that jar of, what do you open a jar of, Jess? Pickles. Pickles. I'm gonna open a jar of pickled beets. Oh, not pickled beets. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. And then we're gonna ride the motorcycle. Can you make sound effects? Can you make sound effects? Good for that voice. <laughs> we do a lot of voice activation here. Now we're gonna unscrew the light bulb. Nice work. Nice work. All right, a little bit of wind shift as we pull the arm across the body. This resembles what we're gonna do later. It's, it's a hook. Bring the arm across the body, kick that heel out if you're able. Same thing if you're sit seated, same thing. Now we're gonna stand nice and wide. Put your feet nice and wide. I'm gonna stick the hip out to the side and go forward to the side and back. And in the chair, you might want to scoot towards the edge just a little bit so you have somewhere to go. Let's coordinate, Jess. There we go. Wait, is that right? I don't know. <laughs> Switch direction. Now we're going to add some voice activation. You're going to scare your neighbors. Switch directions. Keep that voice strong. And let's get the knees moving down the body. This is a very shortened version of our typical stretch. We have 90 minute classes. This is about half the length of our typical class. Now we're gonna stand with the foot out to the side and get that ankle joint. And very nice. Lift it up off the ground. And switch sides. Here we go. How many people do we have in here, Jess? Can you see? I can't tell. Can't tell. All right, shake it out. Nice and loose. It's hard to throw a good punch off of a tight body. So we're going to talk about staying loose. Now we're going to breathe in. Inhale. Reach up as high as you can. Exhale as the arms come down. Empty the lungs. Fill the lungs with air as you come up. It's a great people. Oh, 56. Mm -hmm. Woo good job. Now we're gonna work on some of the posterior muscles, upper to middle back. These are your posture muscles, folks. So we're gonna start with a Y. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. You should feel this in your upper back. We're gonna leave it here for a minute. Here's the Y. Now we're gonna drop it down to a T. Horizontal, keep those arms horizontal. Now, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Ooh, starting to feel it now. Now we're going to go into an L. Nice. Push them back. Where are you seeing the numbers, Jess? Liz texted me. Oh, Liz texted you. Good. All right. Now we're going to put them down a little bit for a W. Push those arms back. Nice work. Now we're going to take the left arm across the body, stretch out what we just worked. Got to keep everything even and symmetrical. Switch sides. It's so great to be here today. We really want to give a big shout out to Parkinson's Foundation. Um, so the work, the work that we're going to do today is called a circuit. We've got 10 two minute rounds with 30 seconds of rest in between. And each round is going to be two minutes, 30 seconds rest. And we're going to have a different topic for each round and we'll explain it before it gets started. So the first thing we're going to work on is boxing position. We want to make sure that our stance is shoulder width apart. And then go ahead and just drop back your dominant foot behind the other foot. So it's offset staggered stance. We don't want to be here. 
because that doesn't help us with our balance. And we don't want to be here because we could lose our balance that way. So it's like two points, opposite points of the square. There we go. So we're going to start the timer. Round number one. We're going to just stand there in our boxing position, and I want you to shift your weight from right to left. Drop down a little bit, bend the knees a little bit. Think of a fighter stance. Think of an athlete stance. Now what we're going to do, keep our arms down by our sides. All you're going to do is bend your arms, and your hands are right in front of your face. They're not out here. They're not out here. They're right in front of your face. And we're going to go back and forth. Back and forth. We're not going to throw any punches just yet. This is the stance and the attitude. Tighten your arms up against your body. We don't hit each other at rock steady, but we want to have good defense because it recruits the right muscle groups. Look around. All right. Walk to the camera a little bit. I want to see you peer right over that fist, right at me. Now, if you're safe to do this, I want you to step back with a big searching step. Good job. Let's go off to the side. See how I'm shifting my weight? I'm not walking, I'm shifting. We want to maintain that weight shift, everybody. Now we'll go back and forth. Little bit of a duck. A little bit of a seated too. Everything can be done seated. Absolutely. We're not even throwing punches yet, guys. We've got 30 seconds left. Hopefully you're feeling it in the legs. Go forward, tiny little steps. Tiny little steps, ninja steps. Let's go off to the side. Now we're gonna pivot just a little bit. Pivot, pivot, nice, Doug, that is beautiful. Pivot, if you've got a partner like Joanne and her buddy there, this is a great time to start doing some dancing. Boxing is just like uncivilized dancing. All right, active rest. We're going to do 30 seconds of arm circles. Would love it if you can maintain that wide stance. We're recruiting the back of the body. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. This is your recovery time. Nice and easy. We're going to get the heart rate up just a little bit. Now, next round is going to be your jab. Your jab is your non-dominant hand. So let's get into boxing stance again, everybody. Shoulder width apart, nice and tall. Drop that dominant foot back. Bend the elbows. Look right over that non-dominant hand. So the jab comes out. Arm is flat, right? Now, watch this. We're going to twist into that jab. So you're rotating the body into the punch. So it's not just this. It's not robotic. You're, recru you're recruiting your entire body in that punch. Doug, you just nailed it. Good job, buddy. Punch it out. Right at the camera. Watch my hand. It's going to come down like this. And bring it back. Watch my shoulders. Your dominant hand's always up here protecting your face. I like to say, keep your hand up this cheek, not this cheek. Yeah. <laughs> We're just not right. <laughs> Jab. All right, to increase your, your uh, power with the jab, I want you to try a little tiny step with the front foot as you jab. Yep, jab, step. It's hard to see my feet. Jab. Twist the body. We want to maintain the rotation of the body, the rib cage over the hips. We want to maintain that so we're not walking and shuffling steps. This is a great start. Boom. 30 seconds. Come on, let me see the jab. Put it out there. Put it back on the shelf. Jab. Now, breathe out as you jab out. Let me hear it. Strengthen those lungs. Strengthen that voice. Stay relaxed. Woo. That was your jab. Nice job, everybody. Good job, Bess. Now, we're going to make it a little bit more difficult. I'm going to give Jessica some cans of spinach. 
because we're gonna get stronger today. I'm gonna put on our boxing gloves because I have boxing gloves. You don't need boxing gloves, but it kind of helps illustrate the punches a little better for our viewers. Round number three. We're gonna go, okay, boxing stance. Nice wide platform. Drop down slightly. Bend the elbows. Let's see the jab. Leave it out. Leave out the jab. The dominant hand is on your cheek. Now just switch them. Watch the stripe on my pants. Jab to cross. Cross is your dominant hand. Jab, cross. Come on, Doug. Don't let the jab, don't let the cross leave until the jab comes back home. Does that make sense? Jab, put it back, cross, put it back. There you go. Jab, cross, put it back. Don't be sloppy. We don't want any of this. And move around a little bit, move around in your space. Jab it across. Let me hear you. Susan, nice job. Make sure you get some rotation in those punches. Let me see your shoulders. Woo. There it is. Jab, cross. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You got 40 seconds. You can go harder. If you got it in you, pick it up. Please don't Need <laughs> anything out around the house? Jab cross. Watch the feet. Water bottles work too. We're shifting our weight with the punches, putting them back in place. Nice and efficient. Beautiful job, everybody. Woo! Step on the gas. Ten seconds, go. Three, two, one. Active rest. March in place. Hold on to something if you need to. If you're standing and you still want to stay standing, you can hold on to the back of that Stand chair. Application. Do what you need to do. This is a great time to get some deep breath. Keep your heart rate up. Do it from seated. We've got time to go through the jab cross one more time, Jess. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, everybody. Round number three. Stance attitude. You are powerful today. You're strong today. Bend the elbows. We're going to go back to the jab and the cross so I can analyze your form. Looks good, Joanne. Leave the jab out. Twist the body into the punch. Now switch. Beautiful. Put it back. Walk around. Think about your next combination. Jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, three, four. Put it back. Walk around your living room. Give your cat the stink eye. <laughs> jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Six punches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reset. Walk around, pivot around. Good job. Get up on the chair, put her on that chair. Do a little ducking, do a little weaving. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Put it back. Look right over your hand. That's all I'm going to see are your eyes. Nice long jab to the camera. Put it back. Two jabs. Put it back. Three jabs. Put it back. One cross. Put it back. Two crosses. Put it back. Three crosses. Jam cross. 20 seconds to the bell. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going, guys. Come on. Side of the bell. I'm shifting my weight. I'm in boxing position. Are your feet wide? You need to slow it down to keep your form. That's great. I want you to have good form. I, absolutely. Don't, don't sacrifice form for speed. Time. Woo. Nice job, Jess. All right. Active rest, wide stance, lap raises. Inhale as they come up, exhale as they come down. 
So everybody watching, get water as you need it. I'm not gonna stop for water breaks. I need you to stop before you're thirsty because you're probably already dehydrated if you're thirsty. On that note, I'm going to take She's taking a break. All right, we did the jab. We did the cross. Now we're going to do the hook. You see a lot of this in the movies, in bar fights. We don't, we're not in a bar fight here. So a, cro or a uh, hook actually is a tiny little punch. And all you're going to do is raise the elbow and bring it across the body. And it actually comes across the body, taps yourself in the opposite shoulder. You're twisting, recruiting this beautiful muscle here. Virgo muscles called the lats. That's so why boxers are shaped like light bulbs. Let's throw that hook. My arm is parallel to the floor. Your, your dominant hand is on your cheek. The upper cheek. Pull it across. And shift your weight. Oh yeah, that's where the power comes from. Make sure those feet are in that boxing position still. Now we're gonna switch to the other jab. Other side, everything has to stay symmetrical. Watch my leg as I pull the jab across. Yep. Slow it down. Oh. Thanks, Jess. Yep. <laughs> Just keeping me on task. Pull it across. Woo! Go, go. Now we're gonna switch back and forth. Left hook, right hook. Keep going. 30 seconds. Watch how I put it back before the other one goes out. Nice, Jessica. Beautiful. Now we're going to throw two left, two hooks, two right. Think of the power of that punch if you're throwing the elbow. <laughs> danger, danger. Two on the left, two on the right. Reset. Two more on each. We're going to go to the next round. Uh, let's do two more on each. To the bell. There we go. Relax yeah. a little bit. You guys great. Now we're going to do an overhead press. Active rest. If you can't get those arms up straight up, you can always go out. Oh, if those arms don't allow you to go out, shoulders don't, you can always press out. Because some people have shoulder issues. We know that. It's pretty common. We're all for that modification. Yeah. yeah. So everybody can participate and get the benefit. Exhale as the arms come up. Don't hold your breath. Okay. Uppercuts. It looks like this. It's not coming from back here. It's going to hurt your, your shoulder. It's come from the front. Lift it up. Nice. Straight up. Straight up. It's kind of an inside punch. It doesn't come out of here. It's straight up. So Jessica and her boxing. An uppercut is, go ahead and throw an uppercut. It's an inside punch. So you want to get them right up there. Yeah, right up. In the right chin. Up the or in the solar plexus, yeah. right? right? So just visualize that sometimes. Sometimes it's easier to visualize that. Get in the, in the chin. Depends on what kind of day you had yep. in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> what else could make you want to punch things? Parkinson's can make you want to punch things. Yeah. So there's a good deal of stress relief to punching things. Never punch each other. Let's start two at a time, two at a time. Shift your weight, shift your weight. I'm gonna back up so you can see my feet. Step and press. Woo, we got Keep 30 going. seconds. Keep going. You're working your biceps. I see your muscles. Come if on, work even if you don't have gloves on. Those gloves add a little bit of weight, but it's okay if you don't have it. And right up like this, right up like this. This isn't a jab, it's an uppercut. You're going to turn your gloves upside down. Doug, you just keep looking at you. We got 10 seconds left. Speed it up. Knock up and spin it. <laughs> okay, that active rest again. Active rest, bicep curls. I'm going to widen my stance. 
There you go. Make sure your posture is good. Sitting in that chair, your chair, your back's off that chair. I'm so happy to be here today. Yes, it's a great day. It's not great outside. The weather's not that great. It's rainy, but you know, it's cold and rainy. Yeah. Here. We'll take it though. It's no snow. All right, we're going to start with um, focus mitts. In this round, I want you guys to stay a little bit active while you observe. These are focus mitts. Keep marching in place, keep moving. You're going to be moving for about two minutes until we get you engaged in focus mitts. Keep moving, keep moving, keep your blood going. So these are focus mitts. When you see these dots, that means you're going to punch them. But right now, I'm just going to work with Jessica on proper form. We're going to work on just an easy jab. So I'm going to come across here, easy jab. Good. There. Jab. I want you guys to jab out. Jab. Jab. Cross. Cross. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. I don't want her to breathe out. I want you to breathe out as you punch. Jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Back and forth, back and forth, just like in the boxing ring. We're going to move around a little bit. <laughs> Joanne, I lost my knee. <laughs> hey, no, no hit each other, Joanne. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Two jabs. Two jabs and a cross. Two jabs and a cross and a hook and a hook. Arms up, arms up. All right, jab, jab, cross, cross, hook, hook. Nice job, everybody. All right, I'm coming to the, good job, Jess. I'm coming to you guys. I want you to finish strong. As the mitt comes up, I want you to hit a jab, yep. cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Reach done. All right, if you need water, get water. We're gonna do a couple more rounds of focus mitts with you guys. The jab, if I hold out my left hand, that's your left jab. You reach across your body, cross your body to my mitt. So my left to your left, my right to your right. It's a lot of brain work. Try to relax in between rounds, Doug. I see you jumping around. That energy's going straight up. We need it to come forward, so relax. Big deep breath. In. All right, quick thinking, everybody. Jab. Good. Put them back on your cheeks. Jab. Two jabs. Jab, jab, cross. Back up, back up. Forward, forward. Jab. Think quick. Two jabs. Jab, jab. Jab, jab, cross, cross. Jab, jab, cross, cross. Jab, jab, cross, cross, hook, hook. Jab, jab, cross, cross, hook, hook. Let's do opposite hook. Sorry, that was my bad. Coach is bad. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Reset, Doug. Yeah, there you go. You're not holding your breath. Jab and cross. We got a whole minute left in this round. We're almost halfway. Jab and crosses. Here we go. You see the dot? You strike it. Reach across the body. Reach as far as you can. Full extension of that arm. Hit the dot. Don't hit your TV and break it or your computer. Don't hit, <laughs> don't hit your husband, Joanne. <laughs> Non-contact. She's laughing. <laughs> we love you guys. We're so glad you guys are here. Yeah. We love that Zoom is an option now. Hook. Everybody can be part of it. Hook. Hook. Stay with me. Speed it up. Come on. Doug, I see you. Twist. Back to Jeff Cross. <laughs> Ten seconds. Go. I'm, just, I'm smiling the whole time. I'm so happy. And take a little breath. Take a little bit of a rest. Oh, triceps obsession. 
We're going to do triceps here on our active rest. So you're going to lean over and you're going to straighten the arms, recruiting the triceps. See how Jess is doing it? Bending at that elbow. Yep. Try to stay relaxed, everybody. Get some water if you need it. Assume boxing position. This time we're going we're gonna to do all six punches. Jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Remember your uppercut comes right here. So if I do this, that means uppercut, uppercut. Jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Go. Jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Reset. Put your hands away. Look mean over those, those fists. Look mean. You're going to give Parkinson's a run for its money today. Big jab. Breathe out as you punch. Big jab. Two jabs. Double jab cross. Double jab cross. Hook hook. Breathe that. Double jab cross. Hook hook. Uppercut. Uppercut. Woo. Double jab. Cross. Hook. Hook. Uppercut. Uppercut. Reset. One minute left. We're doing that combination one more time. Let's do it. Double jab. Cross. Hook. Hook. Uppercut. Uppercut. Reset. Move. Pivot. Jab forward. Sorry, Jess. I don't know okay. I'm hitting you. No, you haven't been. Close, but it's okay. <laughs> When I hold the mid up, I want you to hit it with the right hand. That's the cross. Keep going. Jab, good dog. Ah, oh, brain work, brain work. There you go. Oh, I'm not gonna help you out this time. There you go. You got oh, you're good. Good one. Another one. Jab crosses to the end. We got 10 seconds. Go hard. Go to the bell. Keep going. We're almost there. Good job. Oh, get some water if you need it. The active rest this time is what we call an iron cross. Arms out to the side. <sighs> Big breath in. Where'd those smiles go? If you'd like more in information on the Rocksteady Boxing in your area, or if you'd like to start a Rocksteady Boxing in your area, Rocksteadyboxing.org. All right. Review of everyone here. Proper punching techniques. Start with a stance. Let's say we're starting at a little tiny bowling pin stance. We're going to break free of that little stance. Widen your stance. This is where the confidence comes in. Drop that foot back. Dominant foot goes back. Then you're just going to bend the elbows. Look over those fists. There you are. Shift your weight from side to side. Please don't get the feet close together. It's tempting, but make them wide. The jab comes out, and it's not just the arm, it's the twist. Here it goes. Twist. Woo, Doug, you got it. Put it back on the shelf. Jab. Oh, that's pretty. Look at this quality line. Go. All the way out. Yeah. Put it back. Beautiful. Cross. Same thing, jab cross. This is a tiny little tutorial of boxing. You're not gonna learn it in a day, are you, Jess? No, it takes a while. We're gonna try to let things flow a little bit. Let's do hooks, cross the body. Tap yourself on the opposite shoulder with the hook. Then you know you're pulling it in nice and tight. Darn, where did all the time go? Yeah. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. See how close this punch is? Comes right here. Right here. Uppercut. 30 seconds. Jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Nice and easy. Don't forget your form. Reset. Jab, cross, hook, hook, up, up. Breathe, 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 breathe. Reset. One more time. Reset. Grab some water. Really proud of you guys. Let's get stretched out a little bit. This is part of our cool down 
And we're definitely going to have to take care of some core work here, which is part of every workout. Nice job, everybody. We appreciate you all joining us on Absolutely. We love Parkinson Foundation. Have I said that yet? We do. Yes, we do. <laughs> all right. We're going to move on to core exercises. We've got about 10 minutes left. So we're going to do two minutes of bird dogs. Bird dogs on the ground or bird dogs using the chair. So bird dogs, think about quality of line again. I'm on the floor. I'm going to raise one arm. I'm going to raise the opposite leg. And I'm going to switch. We're going to do 10 of each. One. Thank you. Two. Down on the back of the chair. Oh, so that's great. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> six. <laughs> seven. I don't see anyone, so I know they're on the floor. Nine. And. <laughs> Whether you're seated or you're on the floor, come on back into what's called child's pose and relax for a little bit. Ooh. Come on up. We're just going to do cat and cow. Cat and cow, we can do the seated or we can do it standing. Or just standing. Arch the back. See my back is arched, tuck the chin to the chest. And we like to do animal sounds here. Yeah. Flatten the back out. Now your cow. Push the back. Thanks for the camera in my inner chest. Yeah. Flatten it. Move. Move. Your neighbors wonder what's going on. Yeah, it's good to have neighbors talking about you. Yep. All right. Two minute plank challenge. I know it's a lot, but I want to challenge you. Elbow plank, plank on the chair. I'm going to do an elbow plank on the ground for two minutes. Do what you can. You can also do it seated and pull those shoulders back. Make sure your back's off the chair and you're pulling those shoulders back. All right, I'm going to get in a plank position. I'm going to start the clock. Here we go, plank position, two minute plank. Here we go. This can also be done from the back of the chair. Don't hold your breath, everybody. A minute 45 left. <laughs> I shouldn't have done my other plank this morning. We just had a plank challenge here at the gym for Planktober. So, Planktober. Keep holding it. 25% done. You got it. If you do for some reason need to take a rest, just come down to your knees or take a quick rest and then go right back into it. Coming up on halfway. Come on, guys. Come Straight on, down. Up. Keep going. Make sure you're engaged in that core. One minute left. You got this, guys. Keep holding it. Keep 45 going. seconds. You're almost there. <laughs> You're over halfway. You can do it. Keep going. Keep holding it. 30 seconds. Almost there. Keep going. You've got to we'll have to be a 15 soon. <laughs> 20, 20. Keep holding it. 10 seconds. Here we go. Last five. Good job. Great job. 
And then we're going to pull it down a little bit. As you transition up from the floor, make sure that you take your time. Dizziness and lightheadedness is common with Parkinson's disease. Yeah. Got the nice work. work. Stretch them out. Lift across the body. Big breaths. Let's reach across, reach across. Jess and I are very well coordinated. So. Yeah. You guys, thank you so much. We've only got a yeah. couple minutes thank left. Thank you for joining us. We're going to reach up. Just like we did when we started. Exhale down. We love what we do at Rock City, giving back to the Parkinson's community and glad we could do this today with you guys. Absolutely. We hope you're inspired. You inspired us today. All right. Let's see. It's tradition with every single bo Rock City boxing class that we end with a cheer. So I'm going to put my hand in the middle and voice activation here. Repeat after me. Say repeat after me. Let's try that again. <laughs> repeat after me. Repeat after me. I scream. I scream. You scream. You scream. We all scream. We all scream. For dopamine. For dopamine. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Nice work, everybody. Get some water. Go have a cheeseburger. <laughs> Or a salad, <laughs> or a Sunday ice cream, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> whatever makes you happy, that's what you should do. Thanks so much, Christine and Jessica. It was a great workout. That plank is burning my core. So thank you for waking up that fire in our bodies, that mobility for uh, us to carry it on into the weekend. Everyone have an amazing day. Enjoy the weather wherever you are, and we will see you again soon. Be well. Thank you, Parkinson's Foundation.